Hi, my name is Jim Shin. I teach a course here at the Keller Center called Radical Innovation in Global Markets, EGR 492. I've spent most of my life managing innovation in Silicon Valley and before that on Wall Street. And I think this is one of the most interesting and also one of the most subtle things that you could study here at Princeton. Let me take a few minutes and quickly point out the four things that you would learn if you take the course and what kind of students might be interested in investing their time in enrolling in the course. So basically four things. First, you'll learn where really big ideas come from. And as important as where they come from, you'll learn about how you test them, how you roll them out, and how you scale them up on a global scale. The second thing you'll learn in this course is the interaction between these radical innovations and public policy. In many of our cases, the innovation, the bright idea at hand, was the solution to some big public policy problem like carbon, for example. Uh, but in others, the innovation like Skype, for example, or, or Stuxnet, another case that we do, caused a real headache for the governments in question. And we care about both sides of that relationship. The third thing you learn about this, you learn from this course, is I think refining your judgment. Each one of our cases has a decision embedded in it. And in each case, uh, it's up to you to figure out how to logically parse the problem and how to suggest the right solution. We use decision trees in each of the cases. That's a fairly simple and straightforward technique. If you're not familiar with it when we begin, I can assure you that by the end of the course, you'll be a whiz at it. Of course, the fourth thing you'll learn is being good at a case method. And if you go to medical school, business school, or law school, for sure, I think EGR 492 will give you a leg up. Now, who should take this course? I think, first of all, that if you're going to be an entrepreneur, this course may be for you. And that's the same whether you're going to be a for-profit entrepreneur like Mark Zuckerberg or if you're going to be a social entrepreneur. Another group of students who might find this useful are those who are interested in public policy in general. About a little less than half of our cases are US-based. The rest are from around the world. And this course would give you a pretty good perspective on comparative public policy uh, across countries, whether it's regulation, health policy, uh, intellectual property uh, protection, and even national security policy in some cases. Now finally, if you're a technical major, molecular biology, for example, or computer science, very often our students find that this, is a great, this course is a great bridge between the techniques they practice in the lab and how it's rolled out into the real world. I should point out here that although it's listed as an undergraduate course, every year we have uh, more than a handful of graduate students and we're glad to have them. And a number of them have told me that they found this a really useful course once they found themselves outside of Princeton. Please contact me if you've got any questions and look forward to seeing you in September. <laughs>